Okay. Hi guys and welcome to Papers Please. Oh my god, like on the bunch of like fucking loud games, I think this was like the loudest I have ever seen. Holy fucking Christ. Okay, I think this is a little bit better, but uh yeah, this um this is a game that um has been out for a little long while and uh, I'm wanted I just decided to like play it. The reason I uh, avoided playing this game, the thing is that um what did I say? God damn it, I'm ruining this uh, whole fucking intro recording over here and that's simply because the music is like so loud it completely took me by surprise. Okay. So the thing is I've played a lot of games uh, like uh, that were similar to this game. I played uh, the game that was uh, made by the same guy who made this game, the Republic Times. I played Westport Independent. There's been a lot of guys requesting me that I play this game. The reason why I mostly avoided it is because I already played this game, you know, and I uh, already finished it like a couple of times. But there's been a surge of this game's popularity and I decided, you know, let's go again and let's give it one more try. And, uh, you know, it's been a very long time since I played it, so I might have forgot some things. I think it's it's not going to be a 100% like, uh, original reaction, but maybe we're going to have something decent. And I don't think I've got all the endings, I think. Uh, there's uh, one uh, ending that I haven't gotten yet, like the sort of a loyalist ending. I have a lot of save files over here, and that's because um, uh, every time like one of my friends have uh, come over, I did uh, allow them to like try out this game, and uh, most of them liked it, you know. Just uh, as I said, I do personally enjoy this game quite a lot. It's one of the proofs that games are like... Uh, if I want to prove that the games are a form of art, this is one of the games that I would put up to. And, you know, it's made by a single guy, Lucas Pope, and, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try, um, and play it from the beginning. Congratulations! Alright, let's try to do my Ashtoskan voice. <clears throat> the October labor lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. For immediate placement, report to the Ministry of Admission at Grestian Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Grestin. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. That's the shittiest one for those of you who haven't played through this game before. Glory to Arstoska, most glorious country. Grestin border checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, can the Ministry of Mission keep us safe? Alright, so the basic uh, story behind this uh, game is that you are playing in a fictional country called Arstoska in a sort of fictional Eastern Europe kind of setting and um, yeah uh, you have you are basically a guy checking passports uh, entering the country the uh, the country has been uh, at war with uh, its neighbor Kalecha for like six years and the war ended with the city Grestin being divided kind of like uh, Berlin with no with the East and West Berlin and it's a uh, it's sort of a rhetoric to like the communist states uh, based on what it is based on uh, what you have to do and obviously like the October labor lottery and all that so yeah as I said I um, I already know how to play this game very well so I might blaze through the first few days because it's very important that you accumulate money in the first few days because afterwards as the game becomes progressively harder uh, you're going to like uh, make mistakes and run out of money so. Uh, the official bulletin. Uh, Inspector, welcome to your new position at Grestin Border Checkpoint. Pass stamp passport, entry visa and return documents to entry. The entry is restricted to Stotskan citizens only. Deny all foreigners. Glory to Arstotska. And you know, it's, uh, it has a little bit of a picture about what to do. So the first day is like the easiest. You only have to admit our Stotskans. Everyone else is not going to be admitted, so we don't even need a rule book. Open up the shutter and call in the next Thursday. So yeah, it's a pixelated game, you know, it's not really the best thing you get out there, but hey, you know. Finally, I can return home. Welcome, Walter Shen, to our uh, great country of our Stotska. I'm glad to be the first guy to welcome you on your way back. Glory to our Stotska. Have a, have a good one. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, this game has, uh, apart from like 20 different endings, uh, this checkpoint is smaller than expected. Well, you know, that's too fucking bad. Reaper Gregory, unfortunately, despite your amazing name, I'm going to have to deny you. You are impor- no Emporians are allowed, only our Stotskans, sorry. Our Stotskans only. So, um, there are- not only that there are 20 different endings, but there are a lot of moral choices in this game that are really cool. I didn't need a sign of damn line for it since 
Is that like wait? I have waited in this damn line since for eight hours. Okay, that makes sense. I hope it was worth it. Sorry, Christina. Um, it was not. Our stuff comes only. Unbelievable. Go to hell. Thanks. I'm just doing my job here. Oh, I look at this fella. Collections. Ah, fucking collections. Going over here. Ah, get out of here. We've been at war for like six years. You're, you're still the wretched bastard that like tried to kill us like head by head or whatever. It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Oh, fuck you. It's kind of interesting though, like a guy standing in his giant queue just to come over and tell you that it was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Like, because sort of sends you a message. There are a lot more like uh, about this. Even even this, the fact about the game design, even the fact that how you have to like stamp the visa with like approved or deny and the tongue, like the metallic tongue sign that it makes, it's like uh, it has like a, a a profound emotional impact because it basically it reinforces the fact that you are making a decision. You are either allowing or denying a person to come into your country, and that decision that you make will have consequences. Lenziski Wester, welcome back to our Stotska, my friend, my comrade. Glory to our Stotska. We are welcoming you. Next, please. Papers, please. Ah, Republia. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, you're going to have to try again tomorrow. Not even worry about it. Obviously, you have limited days and uh, I mean, a limited time in which uh, for each day, and you have to process as many people as possible with as little mistakes as possible. Tunkado. Well, sorry, dog. See you next time. Gonna be pretty easy. As I said, it's just the first day. Let's see if we can blaze through a few more guys. Sub dog. Uh, Republia. Denied. Stots guns only. And I think this will be the last guy. Ah, I stopped just at the beginning. God damn it. Alright, we process 10 guys. It's fine. Manager expressing uses the checkboxes below, and this is like the other part of the interface, apart from the gameplay. This is the other part. This uh, over here are your boost upgrades that you will receive. This is your family. You are the only person in your family that is earning money, and you have to take care of all of them. If your entire family dies, you are uh, just going to lose the game. And these are the tokens. This is basically. Um, it's a thing that you get for, for certain decisions in the, along the game, you'll see. Uh, first day, we pay the rent, we can go without food or heat. And I think I'm going to go without food, everyone is fine, and it's a very good way to like save a lot of money in the early game. Alright, next day should be pretty easy, Grestin checkpoint a success, entry restriction to relax, admit foreigners, analyst upbeat, increased trade and cooperation predicted. Walk to work, November 34th, 1982. I think I'm going to be able to do like three days per per uh, session, and it's going to be a small series. If you guys like it, obviously. If not, then it might be the only video. But as I said, I really enjoyed this game. I uh, I played it a lot of times, and uh, I didn't I didn't mention, but the only ending that I didn't get, I think, is the loyalist ending. Like I did get the uh, the ending in which I followed the order, the easy quarter. You'll find out about it later. I did get the ending in which I escaped with my family, and the loyalist ending is the only one in which I haven't gotten. From today, foreigners with a valid passport are uh, permitted to enter. Your boots inspection hardware is now installed. This is over here. Check all passport information carefully for discrepancies. Deny any entrant with inconsistent information. Inspect mode. Enter inspect mode using the red button on your desk. While inspecting, highlight two pieces of discrepant information for further options. This post is bound by the mini my Ministry of Admission Rules and Regulations. Study the rulebook closely. Glory to our Stotskamp. There you go. So you can uh, highlight two pieces of information like the expiration date with the time. And uh, you know, you can say it's expired. And that's it. And now we have to have the rulebook ready. Simply because, you know, we can check the cities and all that. You know, the Ishing city is something that you have to check. And I think that would be a uh, for now, and I uh, no, gender no, maybe, no, no. if I remember correctly. All right, let's go. Starting another day. The day doesn't start until you call in the first entrance. So what do you have over here? Have Antegria, Outer Grass. I think it's uh, all right. Very good. Uh, no, he's not expired. Standing here. Uh, mail. All right, everything is fine. Cause no trouble, my cabaret. Welcome to the glory country of Arsenska. Next, please. And if you mistake, get a mistake, you will get a citation over here. 
I have another girl from um, Antegria, Sant Marmero. I cannot remember this one if it was an actual city. Let's see. Sant Marmero it is, but I think it is expired. Yes, it is, unfortunately. His document has expired. What? It, that is a mistake. I just renewed it. Well, you're just going to have to renew it once more, one more time, you know. No problem. Just to re renew it, you know. It's something that you can do. Sub dog. Man, you look handsome. Holy shit. Um, this doesn't look alright, female. Um, discrepancy detected. You are a male or a female? What is this question? Unfortunately, at this point of the game, I cannot check, so I will have to deny it, unfortunately. Also, I should not even check for uh, the discrepancy. If I spot a discrepancy, I should deny the entrance right away because I'm just wasting time. Hurry up, I'm meeting boss soon. God damn it, don't you dare push me over here, alright? But at Disney, I know it's a city from our studs class, so I think this guy's fine. Finally. It's interesting though that guys that uh, behave like uh, absolute shit are actually have right documents, and guys who like uh, try to behave like very nice have something wrong into them. It looks a little bit different, but I think it's fine because it's just uh, the haircut that's different. Male Orvech Vonor, I don't think. Uh, yeah, Orvech Vonor is not from Oberstan, so I'll just deny it. I don't even need to. Ah, that discrepancy. You can't detain him for that. Uh, an invalid issuing city means that the passport is probably forged. But I assume you don't have the option now. Hello, handsome. You look bored. If you're on good time, come see us. You don't really look like a proper prostitute, but hey. If you have, um... For all your fantasies, I guess I um, might as well let you through, right? I'll be around a couple of months. Don't forget to visit. Fine, I guess. Right, next. Papers, please. What we have? Oh, this line looks a lot different. This does not look good. You had surgery. Well, I don't really care. Oh, what you're doing over here? Hey, stop him! You shoot! Wow, you're bad at it. Come on, shoot again! Holy crap, you're taking so long to kill him. Oh, there you go, he's dead. God damn it! I just didn't get to process this final girl. Damn. He was cut short by a terrorist attack. Your son is sick and needs medicine. Prayer is saved at the start of each day. Alright. So we can uh, go with food. We can go without heat this time and pay for everything. Now I see the fact that the day is cut short. We do, you do lose a lot of money. So I just need to blaze through the days a lot faster. Terror strike at Grestin. Collection agitated system. God damn it. Collections. Checkpoint lockdown. More guards, more scrutiny. Oh yeah, so look at this now. Look at all the guards coming in. There you go, that's the good stuff. Entry for non-citizen is now regulated. Our foreigners require a valid entry ticket. Verify information before stamping passport, entry visa and return all documents to entrance. And missing documents can be correlated by highlighting a uh, counter and pertinent entry in the rulebook. So uh, yeah, apart from uh, having the passport, the foreigners will require an entry ticket. Next day, let's go in, we need to go in, and we need to go fast. Alright. Papers, please. There you go, we have Shinglenton, I know that's from the United Federation. Verlindia, he's a female, he's the valid on today. Alright, good to go, good to go, good to go, I think. I haven't checked the date of birth, but everything else should be fine. Alright, we did it. Woo! Alright. Next, please. Papers, please. You are missing an entry ticket. I'm not even going to bother. He, she might have it on her. Uh, and, uh, you know, but the fact that she didn't present it, you know, it just gives me the reason to deny her at this point of the game. Hey there. Can make you happy anytime. Ooh, hell yeah. That sounds like business to me. Alright, you can come in, definitely. Come to Pink Eyes, ask for Ava. I sure will! Next, please. Sup, fella? Are you going to go for Ava again? Can you give these things to anyone? Like, it's it's so weird. Like, you get these things, I cannot do anything with them. Uh, sorry, dog, but you are no way you are a female. So, nope. Denied. <laughs> Later on, you'll have the ability to search that, so don't worry about it. Oh, look at this fine gentleman over here. I heard about the terrorist attack. You're lucky to have a job still. Hey, you dog. Know, you know, it's tough times, but we are all managing with whatever we have. 
Corista City, is that right? I think it was. Let me let me just double check. But yeah, Corista City is right. Mail is not expired. Valid everything. The entry ticket is valid on today, so you are be safe. You too, my friend. Be safe as well. Next, please. Got this gentleman, though. All right, it's call. It's call from. Oh, this is not valid. Sorry. Uh, just come in in two days. It will be fine. Uh, you will be able to enter then. Sorry for. Uh, sorry if you have to wait for two days. You know, it's fine. No oh, gents. Ah, fucking collections. What do you want, Vider? Ah, I might have to let you in. Are all the documents all right? God damn it, they are. Ah, so annoying. All right, cause no trouble. Smelly collection. I, I, I'm just playing the like racist stereotype kind of guy. Oh, look at this guy. Okay, here we go. Glory to our Stotska, the greatest country. Dog. This is a recurring character, you'll see me. I think it's called, like, Georgi Kosava. This guy is the most hilarious character, like, this game could have possibly presented. It's absolutely ridiculous. Because the first day doesn't even have a passport, you know, he's just, like, trying to sweet-talk his way through. Where is your passport? Passport? Arstoska, so great, passport not required, right? Passport is required. Okay, okay, I hear you. I come back again. You sure do, dog. Next, please. <laughs> like, absolutely hilarious, this guy. Alright, there's Tosca, so you do not need an entry ticket. Everything seems to be fine in order. Is Grestin is the city in which we are, so you are good to go. Next. Alright, we haven't made a mistake yet, which is pretty impressive, but then again, as I said, I played the game before, so I'm quite experienced. Corista City is fine, female. She does look like her, doesn't she? Yeah, it's not expired. Valid date. Alright, we're good to go. See? No problem. We can be foreigners. Everyone is accepted in the glorious countries of Stuska. As long as that's all the papers, alright. Hello. Um, alright. Glorian? Is that is that a thing? I cannot remember. Antegria. Yeah, it is. It's not expired, the code is alright, the day is today. Alright, you are good to go I'm in the glorious country of Gloria Arstotska. You just must make sure that you add enough glory to the name, you know. It, it doesn't work otherwise. Ah, fucking smelly collections again. Where's Crestina? Huh? You just, you just couldn't, like, leave without taking West Crestin for us. We'll always remember you for that. Fucking collections, alright, well, it seems to be alright, unfortunately, so we'll have to let them through. Fucking detest collections, bah, get out of here. Can't wait to get my hands on detaining them. Alright, what about you? Oh, hello, sir, man, ties have been rough on you, huh? Right, you must, uh... You changed a lot. Next, please. Alright, we are running out of time, but we processed a lot of people today, so that's a lot of money. Hello, Nasira. Uh, sorry, Nasira, but West Crescent is in Kalecha. Are you trying to pull something off over here? Hope you are not trying to do something fishy over here. How dare she? Hello. Oh, more collections. This one looks a little bit different. Ah, apparently it's matching. Savela Coma, Yurka City. The code is alright, date of birth is not expired. You do not have an entry ticket though. I think you forgot, I forgot about that. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, they're trying to like, break the rules. I just know it. Look at this guy though. Shingleton, that is all right. The ticket is valid today. You are not a female, though, unless you had some very weird, questionable surgeries. All right, we processed 16 people. That's like a record. Look at that, eighty dollars. Very good. And without paying for food for today, it's very good to like cycling through them. You know, it's not that great if you like completely not pay for it because that. Uh, 
then they become cold and sick and like it's very hard to deal with it but uh, like this is pretty good you know you gain some money or at least you save money you don't gain it but yeah it should be pretty good Black market activity explodes. The government bl blames lax immigration control. But checkpoint expansion postponed. So we're still the only place you can enter Arstotzka from land, basically. Alright, well, I'm going to have to end this episode over here. So, uh, yeah, this has been uh, pretty much it of the Papers, Please game. So, uh, yeah, it's a game, as I said, it's a game that I really really enjoyed watching uh I, I mean i really enjoyed playing i also enjoy watching other people play it it's a very uh, really a game that you can um uh, have like a group together and you know it's better to play with someone else because it's much easier to like spot discrepancies you know you have a friend who, and if you already play the game that it's much easier to like guide them through you know being like the like the boss you know or like the the big brother or something uh, so anyway, uh, this has been a short video, as I said, if you guys like it, I'm going to continue this series, and, uh, yeah, leave a like and a favorite, as always, as well. I'll see you next time, we're going to make Glory Tarstoska, papers please.